This is the Tom Hartman Program. And welcome back. Mark Taylor Canfield in Seattle. Hey, Mark. Well, Tom, May 3rd was World Press Freedom Day. And I have an in-depth article at Truth Out right now about this. I've also been meeting with Representative uh, Pamela Jayapal and her staff on this story. But it was the 30th anniversary of the Declaration of Press Freedom Day by UNESCO. And a major conference was held in New York City, a big international conference. I was also registered for a major event sponsored by the Washington Post, where Reporters Without Borders announced their new rankings for the 2023 World Press Freedom Index. And as I reported, and as I predicted, the U.S. has dropped once again uh, from 42nd in the world last year to 45th this year. The country's Jeez. ranking in terms of freedom has been declining steadily since 2002. When and we, we were, were the guys who essentially invented this. I mean, you know, the First Amendment was the first law protecting the press, to the best of my knowledge, in the modern world. Absolutely. And it's also one of the most underreported or self-censored news stories of the year, Tom, right. because no major U.S. news media wants to report on the decline in U.S. press freedom. And believe me, I've been trying to lobby some of the senior senator, uh, senior editors for major news uh, organizations in the United States, and nobody wants to do it. But U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken was the keynote speaker during that event where the new press freedom rankings were announced. But he was interrupted by a protest staged by Medea Benjamin from Code Pink, who took the stage holding a sign and demanding the release of Julian Assange because Reporters Without Borders has cited the prosecution of whistleblowers and the domination of media monopolies as two major reasons for the decline in U.S. press freedom. Yeah. You can also add to that the mistreatment of reporters by police during protests, something I know a lot about, having been shot with rubber bullets and pepper spray while covering major demonstrations in Seattle. But the good news is, Tom, there are some legislative remedies that could help improve our ranking on the World Press Freedom Index. And that includes the Journalism Competition and Preservation Act, which was introduced into the Senate by Amy Klobuchar, and also the Press Act, co-sponsored by my friend and member of Congress, Pramila Jayapal, and Jamie Raskin, mm -hmm. which would protect journalists from being prosecuted for refusing to reveal their confidential sources. He also has another bill that's been introduced already called the anti slap Act, which would help protect journalists who are being sued by people trying to shut them up, basically just trying to right. bankrupt news organizations. For defamation of suits, yeah. Yeah. So if we were able to get some of these bills passed, I would I predict that our ranking in the World Press Freedom Index would immediately improve. And uh, one more quick thing. Uh, it's kind of ironic to note that Three of the U.S.'s uh, co-hosts for the Summit for Democracy, three of those countries are actually ranked ahead of the United States on the World Press Freedom Index. And really? that would include the Netherlands, right, Costa Rica, and um, Zambia. So it's wow. incredible that the story is Costa not Rica and Zambia. I mean, those are not countries that you would immediately think of as, as being... You know, the, the, well, I, you know, I've been to Costa Rica. It's pretty impressive, actually. <laughs> you know, they, they have no army, and everybody has free college education and free health care. I mean, it's, it's pretty good. Yeah. I am impressed by the president of Costa Rica and his yeah. attitude towards freedom of the press. Yeah, I get yeah. it. It's a problem we've got to address in this country if we want to claim to be a leader in democratic uh, principles around the world. There you We're go. always preaching to the countries. What about us? Right? Yeah, I get it. Mark, thanks a lot. It's great to hear from you. It's uh, 19 minutes, coming up on 20 minutes past the hour. We'll be back with you in 60 seconds. Stay tuned. Missed my opening rant today? It's usually published over at HartmanReport.com where you can read it and share it with your friends for free. Check it out, HartmanReport.com.